Thanks for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video. I would like to just talk to you a little bit about the story in this Bible about um, idolatry in Lystra. Lacononia is what the place is called. Lystra is what it's named in the Bible. Um, it's mentioned probably four or five times. Um, and I'm going to lay and write in Acts um, chapter 14, um, verses 8 through 15. And this is a place called Lystra, which is now in uh, Turkey. So this place, uh, there was a certain man there that was crippled at birth. Um, the story talks about Paul uh, overhearing him. And the, the, the guy listens to Paul speak. And Paul starts checking him out. And he's observing him. And he's like... This guy, because of his faith, is going to be touched by God and be healed. And so Paul tells him in a loud voice, stand up straight on your feet. And he leaped and walked. Incredible. This guy was crippled from birth. So here you have a story of Paul healing somebody that was disabled and crippled from birth incredible and then right here the people saw what paul did and this is in lystra and they spoke in their own language this is verses 11 now when the people saw what paul had done they raised their voices saying in the laconian language the gods have come down to us in the likeness of men and they believed in the Greek gods, Greek gods like Zeus and Hermes. So they thought that this was done because of their gods um, that they worshipped locally. And Barnabas and Paul overheard that the multitude of people, uh, because of this act this miracle that took place because of this healing that they were going to uh, make sacrifices to these gods. And so in verse 14 of Acts 14, Acts 14, 14 now, it says, but when the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard this, they tore their clothes and ran in among the multitude, crying out, saying, men, why are you doing these things? So Paul and Barnabas run down there to this multitude and put a stop to them making these sacrifices to these false gods uh, because it's idolatry and because they want to give credit due because of the living God, the God, the creator of the universe. And so this is where I want to land on. So the story about Paul, he heals this man, the people see it, they think it's the Greek god Zeus that is that does this, so Paul and Barnabas go down to the multitude of people, hey man, what are you doing? This is not the god that did this, and here is where I want to land, this is on verse 15, and if you got a Bible, I want you to look at verse 15, and pay close attention to the details and to the description of this passage of scripture right here. Because it says here, men, why are you doing these things? We also are men with the same nature as you and preach to you that you should turn from these useless things to the living God who made the heaven, the earth, and the sea and all things that are in them. This is from the word of God. This is what I believe in, the whole word of God. And as I'm reading this passage, I read, we are men like you. We're no different. We are people. We are humans. And what Paul is telling him is that I have preached to you. I have taught you that these things are useless. These idols are useless. And so the lesson today for myself to apply this to me and the lesson for you, if you're paying attention, 
is that there's things in our life that we do in response that's useless. We have to give credit due where it is deserving. God, the creator of the universe. God, the creator of the sun, the stars, the moon, the sea, the land, the animals, the people. God gets the glory. Our living God, the only God, the one true God, gets our praise, our honor, and our worship because he is the true God. There is no other God. It's just God. And things that we do in response to things that happen to us in life, we need to respond with praise and thanksgiving to God, not to things that we think are useful. Paul was telling them, stop. We have taught you this. Stop doing these things that are useless. So as I reflect on this, I'm asking myself, what's useless in my life? What am I doing that is idolatry? What am I doing that is putting it above God? What am I doing that's useless? That lacks substance? That lacks what the true God can only give? Joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, self-control. These things that only come from the Spirit of God, where we find rest, love. These things are by the Spirit of God abiding in us. But so often we look out into other things to find pleasure, other things to mask pain. And we go to these things of the world and they're not going to satisfy us. Only God can satisfy. Not a substance, not materials, not money, not drugs, not idols. Only God. My prayer for you today is to be reminded of the things that we do that are useless and replace them with praise and honor and glory to God. He deserves the credit for us being alive and for us to even be here today. God bless you all. Have a great day.